Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be your guide into the notorious Bermuda Triangle. It seems that a lot of strange things happen there. Since the year 1945, a total of 100 boats and about 20 airplanes have vanished there, you know? Would it be due to aliens or paranormal activities, as some people think? Now please put on your life jacket, and I might have an explanation to offer you. On December 5, 1945, flight number 19, consisting of five bomber planes, took off from the Fort Lauderdale base in Florida for a routine training exercise. On board, a 28 years old lieutenant instructor, Charles Taylor, an experienced pilot, was leading them. He was accompanied by 14 young pilots, all in training. The flight looked promising. That day, the weather was mild and the mood among the troops was upbeat. But very quickly, the weather turned over the Atlantic. The flight was caught in a whirlwind that none of them saw coming. Violent winds followed by a heavy storm stroke the planes. Compasses, those navigation instruments used for orientation, went haywire and eventually failed. After a couple of minutes past the Fort Lauderdale base, completely loses radar contact with the crews. In his last radio message, an extremely panicked Lieutenant Taylor says, It seems like we're heading into really murky waters. We're totally lost. Without delay, the US Navy dispatched two rescue seaplanes. But again, the mission turned into a nightmare. Just one craft returned to base and the other exploded in flight. It's night over the Atlantic, and there is no more news from flight number 19. For weeks, Dozens of men and planes are sent to the area in search of clues of the five bomber planes and the seaplane, but absolutely nothing was found. Not a single body, not a single fragment. The toll was heavy. 27 people were then officially declared missing. The event made the headlines with one question recurring over and over. Where could be flight number 19? The military was not able to offer any sort of explanation. The official investigation pointed to the responsibility of Charles Taylor, who allegedly failed to make the right decisions. Then time went by and this dark story fell into insensibility. Until the year 1964, when Vincent Gaddis, an American journalist, reopened the case. Intrigued by the fate of the military personnel and their planes, he conducted his own investigation. And surprisingly, he soon discovered that Flight 19 was not the only one to have vanished in this area. And we're talking about this area, a zone that connects the Bermuda Archipelago, Miami, and Puerto Rico. As you can clearly see, it forms a triangle. From the American steamship SS Cotopaxi, which sank with all hands in the year 1925, to the in-flight destruction of about 20 aircraft. Over 100 disappearances in the air and at sea have occurred within this geographical zone over a century. Christopher Columbus himself had noted in his logbook the abnormal behavior of his compasses at this location. For Vincent Gaddis, it's not a coincidence. He believed that this one million square kilometers triangle, twice the size of France, is very dangerous for anyone who ventures into it. And he named it the Bermuda Triangle. We can consider that this is the starting point of one of the greatest mysteries of the 20th century. This place will fuel all fantasies. These mysterious disappearances had particularly intrigued Charles Berlitz, a successful American writer passionate about paranormal phenomena. In the year 1974, he published The Bermuda Triangle, a very meaningful title. This book collects testimonies from several people who have somehow survived disasters within that particular area. On the basis of all those testimonies, the writer then formulated a theory. This phenomenon would be linked to the presence of a submerged stone pyramid in the depths of the triangle. It would be the remnants of a civilization 12,000 years old. The structure would exert a real attraction on planes and ships. This theory captivated a famous French freediver, Jacques Maillot. You know, he is the one whose story was told in the movie The Big Blue. As a result, Jacques Mayol decided to take a trip in order to verify Berlitz's theory. He dived. Unfortunately, he came back empty-handed. Others put forward even more outlandish hypotheses, such as the presence of an underwater gateway leading to another dimension, or even the existence of a giant monster capable of sucking ships to the bottom of the ocean. 
Finally, the most far-fetched theory which remains popular today is that these disappearances would be due to aliens living in the depths. They call me alien. But as you've understood, throughout the 1970s and 80s, the book caused a real fascination with the Bermuda Triangle, which was soon to be renamed as the Devil's Triangle or the Cursed Triangle. At the same time, however, the American government did its best to calm things down. In the mid-1970s, a commission of inquiry was sent to the area to study the actual causes of the disappearances. The conclusion was unequivocal. Each disappearance, in the language of the military, would be due either to the weather or to technical problems on board the planes. In short, there would be absolutely no mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. Regarding the weather, tropical cyclones are pointed out. They occur in the area from June to November and follow a specific path over the Atlantic Ocean. Scientists call it the Hurricane Alley. Well, it turns out that the triangle is right in the middle of it. When they reach its latitude, their force is terrifying. The eye of the cyclone can reach over 1,000 kilometers in diameter, and the winds sometimes exceed 250 kilometers per hour. But this can't be enough to explain the Flight 19's mysterious disappearance. As a reminder, it vanished in December, in the year 1945, in the middle of winter. So meteorologists put forward another hypothesis. The cold season, which extends from December to May, also produces its share of disturbances, much less predictable. They are nicknamed weather bombs. To be concrete, these are brief and ultra-violent storms, which can begin abruptly under a sky that was clear blue just a few minutes before. It might have been one of these that completely swallowed up the planes and their crews on board on December 5, 1945. At the origin of this trap was the Gulf Stream. This well-known warm current crosses the Bermuda Triangle. The contrast between this warm current, the cold ocean waters, and the equally cool air masses that occur during winter season forms an explosive combination, which results in the creation of extremely powerful winds and heavy rains. It is also attributed to the formation of enormous waves known as rogue waves. They can rise up to 30 meters in height and could be responsible for the sinking of numerous ships. But even though these various hypotheses may seem attractive, they do not achieve consensus within the scientific community. That's why the search for new explanations continues. And what if the exact cause of these mysterious disappearances was simply of a magnetic nature? This is the opinion of some scientists who point out that inside the triangle, compasses sometimes start spinning without any reason to the extent of disorienting sailors. Following this lead, they identified a culprit. The volcanic rocks, saturated with magnetite, which stretches over more than 200 kilometers under the ocean floor at that particular location. The greatest concentration of magnetite is found in the triangle area. This new hypothesis could explain the sinking of ships, but also the malfunctions that occur with onboard instruments in airplanes. But the story doesn't end there. In 2015, a new explanation emerged. It appears that methane would be the likely culprit. Significant pockets of this gas are found in the subsoil, directly beneath the triangle. Due to the ground movements, the gas would be released and rise to the upper surface into the atmosphere, intoxicating pilots of airplanes navigating in the area along the way. The presence of this gas likewise changes the water's density. Thus, ships can no longer float on it, but instead, they just sink. All of the boats that vanished would have been dragged to the bottom. And that's exactly where we stand today. So have scientists definitively solved this mystery? Not sure, because this hypothesis does not convince everyone. It seems that the Bermuda Triangle has not yet revealed all its secrets. I like adventure, but I'm not sure I'd go there for a vacation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you like these kinds of stories, please let me know in the comments. I've got plenty more of them in reserve. See you very soon and take care of yourselves.